right in the middle of Springfield here in Universal Studios Orlando and it is time for lunch. We're gonna head into Krusty Burger and check it out. Tammy Plus Parks, I am Tammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Universal, Disney, and Florida have to offer plus size people. And today we're here at Universal Studios Orlando, right in the middle of Springfield, and it is time for lunch. I figured we'd head on into Krusty Burger and see what they have to offer. So it looks like Krusty Burger offers uh, these outdoor tables that are like bench seating. It looks like they would be accommodating to a plus size person. I might check that out for you if someone vacates a table. It looks like kind of a uh, food court situation in here. Flaming Moe's, Krusty Burger, and then they have Cletus's Chicken Shack, The Frying Dutchman, looks like it's fish. Luigi's has pizza. And then Lisa's Tea House of Horror has all kinds of different drinks. So the queue for this restaurant's really interesting. It's sort of like a food court in a way, but it's also like a regular quick service. You have a large queue here, and it feeds down to the end here. And when you get to the end of the queue, you decide which one of these different restaurants you want to order from. And you actually go stand in front of that one, you order your food, and then go to a register and pay. Okay, let's have a look at the menu. I don't see prices on here. I think those are up on the board when you get closer to the restaurant you want. But they have a lot of great stuff in here like chicken and waffle sandwich, double batter, chicken platter, chicken arms, chicken thumbs, thrilled to be grilled chicken sandwich. They have the crusty burger, clogger burger, mother nature burger, rib witch, sideshow bob footlong hot dog, heat lamp hot dog. They have all kinds of specialty drinks here as well. These look to be uh, non-alcoholic, so that's kind of cool. I might try one of those. I am driving today. One of the places here offers a lot of salad, Caesar, Mediterranean, Caprizi, veggie sandwich, turkey wrap, hummus, fruit plate, fruit cups, so some healthier options too. And then you have all kinds of pizzas, meat likers, cheese pizza, vegetarian pizza, and then of course all kinds of fish offerings, shrimp, calamari, chowder, all kinds of great stuff. Now, in addition to the menus that they hand out to you, there are plasma TVs with menus in them too. Still, no prices for these, but it does give you an idea of what's on offer. It does look like they have lots of vegetarian options here. At least each one of these different little mini restaurants in this sort of food court area has something vegetarian. That's great. If you're looking for some sort of a specialty menu, an allergy-free menu, gluten-free, that sort of thing, there are team members who are around the perimeter of the line who have menus. Go up to one of them, ask them for what you need, they'll be able to help you. Well, I notice these menus don't actually have the name of the different food court restaurant area that you are ordering from, but the cool thing is, is that the color of the menu matches the, the signage above the restaurant you're ordering from. So that's how you kind of keep track of everything. All right, let's talk about how much the food cost and what I got. So this is the chicken and waffle sandwich. It has a tomato and lettuce on it, and it has like a sort of a maple syrup aioli. Comes with tater tots. And um, I got it as a combo, so I also got a, a regular size soda. And in addition, I had to just grab one of these iconic cupcakes. Looks pretty good, right? So the sandwich is $12.99. The cupcake is $2.39. And the soda is $3.69. Those prices are pretty standard for a theme park. And uh, my meal all together was $17.21. That does include my annual pass holders discount. Okay, this sandwich is already dripping everywhere. And it's gigantic. <laughs> Let me see if I can do some damage here. Ah! I was expecting this chicken to be really dry, kind of crusty, but it's moist and it's delicious. I really like that sort of maple syrup aioli. It's a little watery, which makes it trippy, 
but it's not overpowering. It's just a nice light flavor of sort of a hint of maple. Waffles are very crunchy, but they're not overly sweet, which is something I was a little worried about. I thought this would be really sweet and taste weird, but it's actually a pretty good balance between sweet and savory. Well, I ended up eating almost my entire sandwich because it was so good, but I kind of skipped out on the tots because it felt like it was way too much food. I was really surprised how much I enjoyed the sandwich. I thought it was pretty good. Everything tasted really fresh on it. That was a definite bonus. Um, the waffles didn't taste like they'd been sitting around for a million years or that they'd been frozen before. We're about to bite into the iconic cupcake. I took the wrapper off, and one of the things I noticed is that it was stone cold. So I'm thinking these have been previously frozen or they've at least been refrigerated for a long while. And I don't know if that'll like affect the flavor or texture of it because it's been sitting in a refrigerator and then sitting out in a counter space. We'll see. Uh, let's see what we can do here. It looks like I've got almost the perfect bite. Let's try it. It's a pretty standard cupcake. Um, tastes like something you'd make at home from a mix. The frosting is uh, more not not a buttercream, which is what I was expecting. It's kind of more of a like a marshmallowy kind of fluffy frosting. It's good. It doesn't have any particular flavor. It's all very vanilla tasting. So it's not anything spectacular, but if you just want to eat something that looks cute, it's definitely cute. I want to talk to you a little bit about the seating options here. They seem to have a lot of variety. The table I'm sitting at now is a hybrid of a booth and a chair. So I'm sitting in the booth portion and the table in front of me pushes in and out. You can move it anywhere you need to so you can be comfortable. And um, it's cushioned and it feels really comfortable. I was able to set exactly where I wanted the table to be. The chairs in this area um, are very heavy duty stainless steel chairs and they have um, wood seats. They're pretty generous size, pretty typical standard, very comfortable, very sturdy. Let's see if I can try one of the booths that have a table that maybe doesn't move. I'll see if they can move. Just give you an idea of what to expect in, with seating in this restaurant. Because most of the tables here have chairs that pull out or have tables that move around, this is a really good restaurant for accessible seating for wheelchairs. ECVs are not allowed in the restaurant unless you have some sort of a special pass for them. They really ask that you park the ECVs outside and walk in. Same thing with the stroller. They ask you to leave your strollers outside. And here's a really, really, really big booth for a large party. It looks like the table underneath, you can see, has legs where it can be moved if needed. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I'll sit right in this area here. Well, I'm able to sit here without any issue whatsoever. And there's no problem with clearance. I actually have space between me and the table. So you wouldn't actually even have to move the table. I scooted up a little through here so I know that I can actually scoot through if I needed to. This is a very comfortable booth. Um, I'm gonna look around and see what other seating options there are and get some more shots of some of the chairs you can see. This section of the dining room has tables that are all very much like this, you'll notice. Underneath, they will push in and out from the booth. The booth section is very generous. And the chairs are again, a very sturdy stainless steel chair with a wood top. So the chairs and the booths throughout that section of the dining room are all very accommodating. Adjacent to the Krusty Burger dining room lives an opening that goes right into Duff's Bar. As you can see, there's some high tops in here and some very generously fitting booths. So there's additional seating in here as well. There's one more section of the dining room that has booths that look like this and ones that look like that. Again, they all have the pedestals that can be moved around and adjusted. This is sort of a strange arrangement. You could seat like eight to ten people in here, but there's a table that's only big enough for two. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, the tables that are here, these booths are reserved, so I don't want to spend a lot of time in them. But I can tell you I've tested them, all of the booths, this one, the big round one, and the other traditional style booth, no problem spinning. Perfect. These are the outdoor tables, pretty traditional umbrella tables. It looks as though 
the bench is actually attached to the table so you cannot pull it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see if it will work for me. It's very bright out here so I'm not gonna stay for very long but I can tell you, no issues with comfort sitting on this bench whatsoever. Even though they don't pull out, there's plenty of room. Let me see if I can show you. I still have room here. I'm well into this thing without any issues what, whatsoever. And just in case you're wondering what size I am, <laughs> I am five feet, four inches tall. I weigh 350 pounds and I wear US women's sizes, 4X, 5X, or size 30. So that'll give you an idea. If I can fit in this, maybe you can as well. Now just to reiterate the seating in this restaurant, you are not allowed to bring ECVs or strollers inside. You can bring a wheelchair or a motorized wheelchair. The reason why they don't allow ECVs and strollers in is because there are some tight spaces in here and they don't necessarily fit in between the tables. It can also be a fire hazard as well. Overall, I'd say my meal here was pretty good, pretty decent. The quality of the food was pretty good, the flavor was pretty good, and the prices were right in the ballpark of what you would normally find at a theme park. All right guys, that was actually a pretty good lunch. I really enjoyed it and I wanna thank you guys for that lunch because the fact that you watch these videos and share them with people, and many of you have also contributed to the channel as well, those funds go to pay for my gas, getting back and forth to the parks, and also for my meals and drinks. So thank you guys, and thank you for watching. Hi, All right. I'm Jody. Hi, I'm Alicia. Life's a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride. Thank you.